Hi, I'm Dr. Chris Coloca. Many times I get questions from doctors about how to convert their practice over to an instrument adjusting practice. And of course, the decision of how much instrument adjusting you want to incorporate into your practices is going to always be up to you. Know that you can make the 100% switch and begin to transition all of your patients over to instrument adjusting. We find many doctors do that. Others seem to want to begin to incorporate instrument adjusting with their patients that they haven't done so before. So let's talk about both scenarios. Number one, taking an existing diversified type practice and, and incorporating instrument adjusting into it is really easy. Begin to use the instrument on your patients. You can find the areas to adjust all on your own, just like you have been doing with your own techniques, or come to our seminar, or get our DVD and learn our neuromechanical approach and our neuromechanical system. But either way, rather than using your hands to manually adjust the spine, you're simply going to use the instrument, either the impulse or impulse IQ, to deliver the actual thrust. Tell the patient that you're using this instrument because it's the latest technology, that the instrument's 100 times faster than you can adjust them with your hand, that the instrument allows you to target or pinpoint just specific areas of the spine or extremities to make the, the adjustments. What's nice about this is the patients who are, you've had a rapport with and you've been taking care of for a number of months or years uh, already have faith, confidence, and belief in what it is that you do, and they'll easily accept uh, you being the expert and deciding to use an adjusting instrument, or this technology, I should say, um, in, the, in their care. So taking your existing patients and incorporating instrument adjusting with them, together with your existing techniques, is the way to start, and then gradually start doing more and more instrument and less and less manual adjusting, and you'll find you get the same, if not better, results. Of course, if you have a patient that certainly uh, responds to a, a particular technique, that, that should be the technique that you consider for them. Now, all new patients that start in your practice, usually they don't know any different. They've never been to a chiropractor before. Or if they're new to your office, let them know that's what you do is instrument adjusting. And start them off with their first adjustment with an instrument. We have thousands of chiropractors that use instrument adjusting exclusively in their practice and patients get fantastic results. As a matter of fact, there's four or five randomized control trials out there comparing manual to instrument adjusting, finding no difference in outcomes between the two. So you can feel confident using instrument adjusting procedures and getting, getting results, those of you that are new. Switching your practice over 100% on Monday morning to instrument adjusting can also be accomplished. Simply again, explain to the patients who you've been previously treating manually that you're making the switch to instrument adjusting because it's easier on them and easier on the patient. Ask them to give you feedback as to how they feel after their adjustments, not only after that visit, but on, on subsequent visits in comparison to the previous care. You'll find it's a really easy way to switch your practice over, as I say, easier on you, easier on the patient with instrument adjusting.